Hey guys, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. We still got that wide screen, you know, because we got a wide berth. Going into level 3-4 here, we're gonna get a copyright claim. Oh wait, not yet, this is a normal level. All right, so let's get our sunflowers, our lily pads, our squash, our potato plant, uh, repeaters, cherry bombs, kelp. Yeah, we unlocked the kelp the last time, so we'll see that in action. And uh, chompers, I guess. Yeah. Let's rock. Isn't that what he says in Duke Nukem? Oh, that was a misclick. I meant to click the top square. So stupid. No, it doesn't matter now. But in the heat of the moment, that misclick could have meant everything. You know what else matters in the heat of the moment? Whether or not you satisfy. That's right. It's all about the satisfaction. Don't try to act like I didn't get that donut. I got it back home in the file under the <laughs> for donut. Oh, I miss Mitch Hedberg. The jokes that he could have told had he kept on living. Potato mine. You know who else is cool? Chuck Reagan. Do you guys know who Chuck Reagan is? The lead singer of Hot Water Music and also a solo artist in, in and of himself. He's got Chuck Reagan's revival tour that he's done since like 2010-ish. I know the 2011 revival tour was one of my favorites. That guy is a lion, man. His voice is so raspy and huge. There's a song called, um, Meet You in the Middle. That features Brian Fallon of the Gaslight Anthem with Chuck Reagan singing. And that's such a good song. You should look it up. Meet You in the Middle, Chuck Reagan, and Brian Fallon. I love that song, man. They just have so much passion behind their voice. Good thing. There we go. We got our double columns of sunflowers. We're ready for anything. We just need to get our repeaters out here. Newspaper Bobby. You know what I've noticed? I get winded pretty easily. Like when I'm dancing around like an iPod, because I do that. Don't try to act like I don't. You see, on the right time of the weekend, when nobody's looking, I dance around like an iPod commercial. And man, does that make me winded as anything. I need to do some cardio, man, and get my lungs back up to speed. Get out of here, bucket. Get them before the mine. Okay, good. That mine is for javelin dudes only. Hey, speaking of, look what we got coming. Yeah, I love music, man. Specifically punk music. 
and punk music that like is fused with soul kind of that stuff's really good here's what the kelp does watch on the top row of the pool see he just grabs them with his weeds and pulls them under although we got another scuba snorkeling dude Oh, that wasn't enough. We need another lily pad. There we go. Yeah, I was listening to music before this and drinking a little bit because I went out and got some beers, as you do. So the screen is a little wobbly. No, I'm not I'm not drunk or anything. I'm just a little bit tipsy, as they say. Cause when they're gonna take the money from you anyway, what's it matter? We're just hanging out, having a good time. Goodbye, Mr. Bucket. He pops the balls out of his mouth, he's Mr. Bucket. Remember that commercial from the 90s? Maybe 2000s? Mr. Bucket? I still think people hate me, man. I feel very insecure in my friend group. Mm. Oh, we got Scuba Steve again. We got a squash. No, we got a cherry bomb. Another Scuba. We're going to have to squash that one. Mm. Squash. What? What? What are you doing? Clicking outside of the screen, dude. Okay, we're, we're back. <laughs> you can't be doing that every episode, man. I even moved the window so that wouldn't happen. How did that happen? There's a lot of bucket bobbies here. Here comes Scuba Steve again. Javelin Joe. Oh, Javelin Joe's no problem. Hey, we're doing pretty well, actually. We've got a lot of sun, too. What are we doing? We could build more repeaters. Oh, I wanted to get the bucket guy. Um, we need to do something about that. Click all the things. Oh, what do we got here? A key. Now you can visit Crazy Dave's shop. You found my car key. You know what that means. Crazy Dave's Twiddly Dinkies is open for business. Oh, there's the lawnmower for the water. The pool cleaners. Yeah, we need that. 
Sold out. Okay, now we have no money at all. Nine slots is 20,000. Holy crap. Funny thing about the zombie prizes, sometimes it makes them come out real little. Real little and real mean. Defend your shins! Here's the copyright music. Yeah, see, look at the two uh, lawnmowers in the middle now by the pool. They're the pool cleaner things now. That's why I was wondering why they weren't there before. I forgot you had to buy them. Yes, we got a uh, cherry bombs galore here. You know what I could do since this is gonna get copyright claimed anyway? I could play you that meet you in the middle. So, no, let's not do that. Because you never know. It might just do revenue sharing. It might fully take it. I don't know what it's going to do. Remember when I used to do that, though, back in, like, Breath of the Wild videos? My master mode Breath of the Wild playthrough? where I uh, put music videos and stuff in in the middle of doing things sometimes. I don't know how I got away with that back then. Oh, what the heck was that? That was a stoop. Zombies, man, we gotta cherry bomb them. Oh, just before the football player, that was terrible. All right, there's one down. What are we gonna do about the football player on row two and one? Oh no! Well, that's not good. Oh, there's one on the bottom now too. And we've just got lily pads galore to place them wherever. We gotta do something about that guy and there's nothing for it. they're a little bit weaker than their tall versions. They seem to be going down a little bit faster. Oh yeah, we got this no problem, man. There it is, the jalapeno! This is a very good vegetable. Destroys an entire lane of zombies, so like a whole row. Oh, we got the uh, Zamboni guys. That's what the jalapeno is for. That's what it's called, right? A Zamboni? Oh, I misclicked again, man.
Brains. What are we gonna do tonight, Brain? Uh, same thing we do every night, Pinky. I suppose it's bedtime after this. So now it's time for so long. Ga doop a doop a doop a doop. But we'll sing just one more song. Thanks for doing your part. You sure are smart. You know, with me and you and my dog Blue, we could do anything that we wanna do. Look at that, you sing Blue's Clues and the potato mine grows just in time. So hopefully we're developing a nice sleep aid here for you. Via the playlist. Hopefully the adulation is not too obnoxious. I don't know what it's going to do for the ones that are copyrighted. It should not display any ads, I would think. Unless it displays one at the start and finish and gives it to whoever the owner is. I don't know. I'm just a dude trying to get by in this world, man. I don't know how this stupid business crap works. What's your guys' favorite ramen noodle flavor? I typically stick with the chicken, but I guess beef is okay too. Just something about those chicken powder packets, man. Singing song can be so fun if you are stupid like myself and my son. I don't even have a son. What the heck am I talking about? I was just trying to find the syllables. <laughs> that was stupid. I don't know, man. It's late. I bet if I did have a son, he would be stupid. No offense to my future son. I'm never gonna have kids, man. Don't get me on that depressing topic. hard enough to find a girlfriend, for Christ's sake. Let me do my show, for Christ's sake! Well, that's what the jalapeno does. Billy Joel rage quit. Stop it! Stop lighting the audience! Let me do my show, for Christ's sake! <laughs> I love that video. Oh yeah, we got repeaters all around. Nothing to it, man. We're just popping peas on your stupid cone head and your bulging eyes. Brains. 
<laughs> I love that one. <laughs> it just sounds so much like Pinky. Looks like we're in for a final storm here. What are we gonna do? We've got so much sun. What row matters most? Well, they're gonna have more of them Zambonis. Would you just say them Zambonis instead of those? My dad talks like that. Get out of town with the nonsense, driving your car like a dope. Oh yeah. Look at that, spike weed. This pops the tires of the Zambonis. And there's an upgrade for it in the shop later. Pops tires and hurts zombies that step on it. All right, well, we got a copyright claim there for sure because of that one song. So, yep, we will end things off here and continue next time. I'm going to bed. Thank you for watching, you guys. Take care.